revolution goes on. Halt Slahel. In my language, it means good afternoon. My name is Deborah Parker, and I have the honor of sitting on the platform, the Democratic platform, uh, to help represent Bernie's vision. This movement has always been about a cause, not just a magnificent candidate, because it's about truth, and the condition of truth is always to allow suffering to speak. I don't care what color, what class, what civilization or sexual orientation. And that is why it's an honor to stand beside Dr. Cornell West, yes. This has always been a love train, and justice is what love looks like in public. We know we are stronger when we stand together. And we're still tired of Wall Street Democrats and we still tired of corporate feminists. We know that male supremacy is as evil as white supremacy or homophobia or anti-Jewish hatred or anti-Arab hatred. So yes, there's a blow against male supremacy, but we want somebody who's also in love with women who are poor and working class here and around the world. It, it is a vision of Dr. Cornell West, myself, and, and the others on the platform committee that we come together united with a strong voice in honor of not only Bernie Sanders, but in honor of each and every one of you here today who believe in this revolution, who believe in the change that we need to see, not only in the United States, but in the world. We jumped on this love train because Brother Bernie is a man of integrity and honesty and dignity. And he has reminded us, Bernie has reminded us that we must not be silent, that we must be true to our spirit, and that is the teachings that I have received in our Native American way is that we must always be true to who we are, the core of our spirit. In regard to this election, we know that Brother Trump is a narcissistic neo-fascist. And don't let corporate media convince you that simply because you're not crazy about the milquetoast neoliberal sister Hillary that something's wrong with you. But we know the difference between a neoliberal and a neo-fascist, so you make your own decision. And I'm simply here to say that I love Brother Bernie Sanders, whatever he decides, but I'm a free man and you a free man and woman. Make your decision based on your love for poor and working people. Now, I know, I know many of us, these past few days, it has been difficult. And I know I, I've had to take a moment of silence. I've had to, I've been traveling on the road. I've had to go into my hotel room and just hold on, just really hold on. And I, I do believe in prayer. So I had to pray that, uh, that that good spirit with inside of me comes out because I was angry. I was angry. And I know many of you felt very, very hurt. I know many of us experienced voter suppression. I know many of us were told what to do, 
And um, that's, that's, not, that's not what the American demo democracy is about. It's not being told what to do. It's about each one of us making that decision in what we feel is best for not only ourselves and our families, but for the American people. So I, I encourage you to take those moments and, uh, and find your center, but get back up and fight like hell. I come from a people who've been terrorized, traumatized, and stigmatized for 400 years, which means I have come from a blues people, but the blues means that even when despair is your intimate companion, you never allow despair to have the last word. You have bounced back and come back and fight back, and we're going to fight together, stay together, struggle together, because we each and every one of us. We want to introduce our dear brother Ben Jealous. He's been a freedom fighter for decades.